Hi guys, it's your natural living life here and I'm here to carry you guys along on my natural hair journey. This is my second time doing the big chop. I've been natural since 2011. I grew my hair to probably like my mid back and then I decided to do my second big chop December 2016 because 2016 the summer I decided to bleach my hair. I bleached it, I damaged it, I bleached it, I damaged it. So I had to chop it off again. It was like a big mat on top of my head when I bleached it. Please always get your hair bleached or dyed professionally. Do not ever do it by yourself like I did. I regret it so much. My hair was so beautiful if I must say so myself, but um, I had to cut it off because no matter what I did, it was just dry, breaking, brittle. I couldn't comb it, I couldn't do anything to it, no matter how much oil, deep condition, um, conditioner, softening stuff, all the things that I did, it just wouldn't help. It was, it was not retaining any moisture at all, so I had to cut it off. It's now this um, January 2017. It has grown. It has grown a little since I did the big chop last month, December. And um, I just wanted to carry you guys along on this journey. So last night I decided to deep condition. I deep conditioned. First, I washed my hair with. Alba Botanica Hawaiian Shampoo. No, that's a conditioner. That's a conditioner. Shampoo. This is my first time using this. And I love it. I bought it at Marshall's for $14.99. I think this is the biggest bottle, the biggest size that they carry. It is really, really... My hair loves this stuff. My hair loves it. Um, I have no regrets in buying it. So I conditioned with the same Alba Botanica Hawaiian conditioner. This made my hair buttery soft. Buttery soft, let me tell you. Buttery soft. I love it. I just love it. So after I rinsed those out, I deconditioned with... The Shea, Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Mar Mafora Oil Intensive Hydration Hair Mask. I rub this all around in my head and then on top of that I put the Queen Helene Hot Oil Treatment and then I covered my hair with one of these plastic shower cap thingies. You could use a, um, a plastic bag if you don't have, have any of these. I used to use the plastic bag. Just tie it according to how my head is or whatever. And just cover it with my silk, my silk bonnet and go to sleep. I went to bed after applying all um, the Manuka oil hair mask and the Queen Helene hot oil treatment. And I went to bed. I woke up the next morning, which is this morning today, and I washed those out. After I washed those out, I did my lock method. The lock method is leave-in conditioner, a oil, and a cream. The leave-in that I used is Cantu Argan Oil Leave-in Conditioner. The oil that I used is Argan Oil of Morocco. I probably should have used coconut oil or castor oil. Those two oils work better for my hair, but I wanted to try this one out. I'm not really... This one, it says dry and coarse. It's for dry and coarse hair, extra penetrating oil. This does nothing for my hair. I put so much in there. Um, earlier and my hair is completely dry right now when I got home I had to rub some coconut oil in it and see the coconut oil you know keeps it moisturized
castor oil and coconut oil works better for my hair. I used to use olive oil as well. Olive oil works work good for my hair up to a point. And then I noticed that it, you know, my hair wasn't doing well with olive oil after a while. So I pretty much just stick to castor oil or coconut oil. After that, now I put in the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. And then I rubbed it around in my hair really good. I massage it, rub it, massage it, rub it. And then after I did that, I applied the Eco Styler Argan Oil Gel. And it's number 10 for maximum hold. But it doesn't make your hair hard and crispy. It You know, once you put in all those other products, the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie, your, your um, organ oil or castor or co coconut oil and your um, leave-in, it doesn't make your hair hard or crispy. It just helps to, to retain that moisture better. So I put that in and I rub it all around. I saw some little curls popping, some little curls popping, and then I went. I went, um, I went out, you know, went to dinner, went to a little carnival that my town was having and, um, I got back home and now I'm getting ready to go to bed. Flor I live in Florida. Florida is usually hot and humid and right now outside it's like 62 degrees. So it's kind of, it's cool. It's cold, cold for me. So my hair became a little dry. So when I got home, I just rubbed some coconut oil and then I'm going to rub some um, castor oil on it as well and then cover it with my silk bonnet and then go to bed. And that should be it. That's, my, that's basically my regimen. So I hope to carry you along. I hope you come along on my natural hair journey to see my progress, see my growth see you know all the trials and tribulations that I go through trying to maintain this natural hair that I have so please comment and subscribe below please comment if you have any questions please ask them below comment and subscribe and I hope to see you again on this natural hair journey thank you see you next time bye bye say bye say bye bye